What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I was going to be doing a reaction video to a video that was requested to me uh, in December of 2020 and I promised I'd have it uploaded within the first week of 2021. So obviously I kept my word and I did record the video and the video had a lot of audio issues. For some reason when I recorded it, it sounded very, very glitchy and some things were a lot louder than the others and it was unbearable to work with. So instead of reacting to that, I'm simply just going to be talking about it and I'm going to be showcasing the person who requested it in order to say thanks for giving me the request. Uh, so on the screen here uh, is the guy who requested. He's actually one of the voice actors for one of the characters, which I'm going to be 100% honest, not to be rude to this guy. I'm sure he's pretty cool, but he sounded like a wannabe Bakugo from uh, My Hero Academia. But overall, it was a very good role and I think he played it fine. And also, another thing for the record, I'm not a fan of Gotcha Life, not by any means in any way whatsoever, but I'm not going to judge someone for being into Gotcha Life, unless they're more of a toxic person, unless they're trying to shove it down other people's throats. Point blank period, I don't mind if people like Gotcha. It's just, I'm not a fan of it myself, and I doubt I ever will be, but it doesn't mean that a lot of things like this are bad. Uh, the video I reacted to was uh, two episodes of a gotcha life thing known as Mutant High, which showcased uh, the story of a girl, uh, a blonde girl, going to a school for mutants. And a mutant is like someone who's like non-human. It it's hard for me to explain. You'll have to watch it. It will be linked in the description uh, below. Although the voice acting definitely needs some work because the quality uh, for different characters seems like it's better than others. For example... Uh, uh, the guy who requested the video, even though, like I said, he sounded like a bit of a wannabe Bakugo from My Hero Academia, uh, he actually did have the best vocals, uh, the best quality, if you know what I'm saying. And there was also the black nurse as well. She also had very good quality for her vocals, and she uh, did the role very well. The principal, on the other hand, get a better mic. I'm sorry. I didn't know if you were constipated. Or you were taking a shit while recording your audio. I, and I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm, I'm saying exactly what's on my mind here. The vocals for the principal did not sound good to me in any way whatsoever. It sounded like they were either trying too hard or trying too little. It's hard for me to explain. Although, uh, the things that were said came out fine. It was the way that the words were spoken. If you understand what I'm saying here. And, uh... Yeah, <laughs> but the, another thing that I found really weird about the mutant high thing that for some reason in the back of my head really, really got me thinking like, why? What is the purpose of this? Is that there's actual scenes from anime used in it. Like, for example, you'll see a lot of things that are actually like gotcha. You'll see the gotcha characters uh, inside of the videos. You'll see them talking to one another, communicating like they're friends from school or this and that, blah, blah, bullshit. But then there's scenes where it showcases like uh, an anime girl walking along a school and you can tell it's not gotcha. It's legit anime schoolgirls just walking across and anime backgrounds uh, used to transition into a next scene. There was even a transition where it showcased uh, uh, an anime, either a female or a male cutting vegetables uh, for food. You could tell it was not in any way whatsoever a, uh, a gotcha life food cutting thing. It was specifically from an anime which uh i mean it's fine it doesn't really change the fact that this came out the way that it did and i feel like it couldn't be any better it couldn't be any worse it came out the way it was and i actually even though i'm not a fan of gotcha it was it was overall decent you know uh there's a lot of things that could uh use work and i'm saying that from the bottom of my heart they could definitely use some work uh, but overall, it was not unbearable. It didn't really make me cringe, and I was able to crack a few jokes and actually enjoy watching it. And that's me being genuine from the bottom of my heart. The only thing why I'm like, why, when it comes to the anime backgrounds, is they don't have someone to create newer animations from it, showing that they're using recycled clips or using clips from something uh, that doesn't belong to them. And uh, anime songs, I could tell like the first one, I thought it was custom made, and I was like, wow, this is really catchy. And then I uh, heard the the uh, the intro to the second, and I could tell this is not a song made in Gotcha Life. No way. <laughs> and I was like, it's odd. I feel like uh, if they really need to get this going, 
they would need to use some of their own things, like create some of their own music, use some of their own animation. But now, if they could have done that, but they didn't, I'm just saying you could have done that to help it improve. And I'm saying if you had a very low budget, you couldn't afford it, you couldn't find anyone that would do it for you, then props, you did what you could in order to make it what it was. But overall, it was decent, you know? And uh, there was also a very strong message in there. Uh, I don't, I think it was on, uh, there was like a, a part in either episode one or two, I believe it was two, but I'm not 100% certain, where it showed a guy who was a average human being, uh, and he married a mutant who had two kids, who I'm assuming uh, one of the kids is the main character that was accepted into the mutant high school. I, I'm assuming anyway. I mean, they kind of look a little similar. I don't know if that's just me, but kind of rings a few bells back here. I just had a massive brain fart. I, I need to start writing down what the fuck I'm going to say because I am retarded. <laughs> but no, overall, it's, it's, it's decent, you know? Like I said, there's things that could definitely use work. The audio quality for the principal needs to be improved dramatically. No matter what I'm told, even if people are saying, you're being a little harsh. No, I'm being genuine. I'm showcasing my honest opinion here. I am speaking from the bottom of my heart. I'm not going to just lie and say, this is fantastic. If I didn't like something, I'm not going to lie to kiss someone's ass. I'm going to be honest. And uh, that's why I thought a lot of things could use work. But yeah, that's all I got to say for this video. You can go watch both of the episodes in the description below. Um, yeah, and also the guy who recommended the videos. I'm really sorry I couldn't have it uploaded. Honestly, if I would have been able to find a fix for the extremely glitchy an unbearable audio for that video. The reaction video would have been uploaded today, uh, January 5th, 2021. Sadly, shit happens, and uh, there's nothing more that I can truly do about that. Anyway, uh, this is a small little opinionated video talking about the Mutant High Gotcha Life series that's uh, being created. And all I gotta say is just keep up the good work, you know? Um, I, I know I've said this multiple times throughout the video, but it could use work, but... Nonetheless, I feel like they don't exactly have the highest budget, and I do feel like they are genuinely trying. Am I going to shit on it because it's not exactly my taste for things? Not at all. For example, it's Gotcha Life. I'm not going to say, oh, it's cringe, it's garbage, just because it's Gotcha Life, you know? Although, there are a lot of members of the Gotcha Life community that are cringy and awful. But that goes for almost everybody in every community. I'm not saying everybody, as in... Everybody from every community is cringy, but there are people in every community that are considered to be cringy and awful and toxic people. But I can tell the people that created this here are not cringy, toxic, and awful. If anything, they're just trying to have fun and they're just trying to do what suits their little hearts and they're just trying to do what's best for them. So yeah, go subscribe to the guy who recommended it in the description. Make sure to go check out both of the episodes also linked in the description. And that's all I gotta say. So thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.